Hey everybody. So, we're back at the storage room. I've done that side. Uh, got most of the books and stuff. I'm going to run a load of paper today again to the dump, but I don't know. I haven't gone through these boxes from about here over. So, we're going to see if there is anything uh, really interesting or if it's mostly junk. These look like all old ashtrays from the Caesar Casino. Aladdin. She definitely liked grabbing stuff from uh, different casinos. Like, here's a Harris. It's like a makeup kit or something. I guess this is a cleaning system for your cassette deck. Let's see, it says pads, lights. This looks like kitchenware. Pyrex pie plate. And yeah, the rest is all Pyrex. I mean, it's sellable stuff for the flea market. This is a, another box of papery stuff. I see a watch though. Watch and some crystals. Nice piece of amber. That was that's a good find actually. You never know when you're gonna find amber. There's a bunch of neat little crystals in there. One thing that looks like a gold nugget, but it's not. It's like a fake peanut or something. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a Vatican thing of the Pope keychain. See if there's anything in this bag. I'm happy about the little piece of amber. I guess we have to see if there's anything else in there. <laughs> Another one of those fancy uh, peace pipes. All uh, little jewelry making beads. But there's a lot of paperwork in here. And that paperwork is... I'm going to go take it to the recycling center today. So that way at least... At least I'm... Getting to a spot where I can... Get rid of this room. I, I still have a couple more weeks. But... You don't, I don't want to pay rent on it. Uh, definitely... Uh, definitely found enough stuff to make worth it, but I have no clue. Alright, let me move this and this box and we'll see what's underneath. So, I grabbed that box there and I'm going to grab this box here and see what's, see if there's anything in them. It looks like just paperwork. Nothing special. This might all be shipping envelopes. Could always use those. Um, yeah, like paper envelopes. Went to Staples to go buy some uh, packing supplies. I couldn't believe how expensive stuff it had gotten. Definitely, things are getting more expensive instead of cheaper. And some wire. More of that the sterling silver uh,
card holders. That's pretty cool. It's a loose sight display display rack. I guess to hold the earring cards. Let's sell that and that. Probably some of the earring cards. No silver in here though. Alright, need to move this stuff too. Alright, so I got those moved. Let's see something here. Another one of those crystals on a chain. Put that with the other crystals. I found this. This was the only thing I saved. It was all the Sony VHS -S sticker labeler or labels for the vintage uh, VHS tapes. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, guess. Let's see. Nope. Challenger disaster. This actually might have been before the disaster. There's a bunch of them in here. Uh, another uh, sealed cassette. Uh, a weird handmade necklace or a bracelet. Uh, this is good. A little piece of silver with a crystal. <laughs> Look at Joan Rivers. George Burns. Tell it's a while ago. That's pretty cool. Piece of old piece of casino history. I just really like these boxes. I got three of them now. Uh, definitely some some interesting stuff. Looks like a vintage pen. Uh, Eastbrook. And it's a probably 60s pen. It's 10 bucks. Maybe more. Uh, I think this box is junk. I'm not sure. Looks like cedar wood or whatever to. Maybe it's sellable. Natural twist. Maybe it's smoking tobacco. A bunch of weird things in here. I guess it's all those stick pins for putting jewelry in. Balls of thread like that I can sell. That looks like junk. I think Dan was right. There's a lot of one dollar items in here, but nothing nothing that's really crazy for the amount of stuff. It's a nice little uh, shelf. The alien. He's got a broken arm, but he's still still fun. More heavy. It kinda looks
John T. Perel or something. Looks like it's hand signed. So all different poems. Yeah, they're definitely that's definitely a hand signature. That's pretty cool. So somebody was a poet. Now I have to figure out who he is. Betty Lou and John Perel. Or I think that's how you say it. Let's look at the front again. Maybe we could read it better. It looks like P O R or P O U R L L maybe. I don't know. Definitely different. Anybody knows who he is? Let me know. That always sells well at the market. Basic training stuff. Looks like he was stationed in... Uh, it would be nice if that's China. Instead of... Uh, Japan. If anybody knows what the letters are there. Just because uh, old China photographs, believe it or not, bring decent money. Um, for before... Uh, Probably Korea, though. Those look more Korean. Um, but old China photographs do bring good money online, if you ever do get them. My guess is he was stationed in Korea. Um, Trail of Tears. This looks like a watercolor somebody did. It's on a silk scarf. It's kind of cool. And more writings. It looks like I turned this into a song. This app. Because it has all the. what melody it should be in. I'm not sure. Anybody knows, let me know. Definitely different. A lot of... Cool. Found something interesting. Hey, so I loaded up another load of garbage. There was a lot of junk in the back. Um, Lots of VHS tapes and lots of books. So, even though I did get the jewelry, it was uh, starting to be more work than it was worth. Um, this is a pair of dowsing rods, I guess. So, it could lead you to, I don't know, water, oil, maybe gold. Um, I did there was some interesting stuff in this box. I'm not sure what this was. Um, Harmony cone? I have no clue. Partridge family. Found this for my friend. Uh, at the ginger peach. Got these because they were sealed. I thought they were pretty good. Oh yeah, there was this. It's a bunch of, looks like gold filled in this box. I'll open it up and see. Yeah, it's gold filled. The one earring, maybe, 
Nah, it's gold. Gold filled. And then there was this bag. I figured I'd dump it out for you guys just to see what it was. Looked like silver. And a bunch of crystals. One more of those. One troy ounce. I think this one might be real. It's tarnished and it's got a serial number. Find out. I think these are uh, sellable, those type of keychains. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. I like these crystals with the silver, uh, silver on the head. And I got, uh, pretty sure this is a silver bracelet with uh, abalone. Two pound Canadian coin and a uh, one pound, uh, or two Canadian dollars, I guess it is, and a one pound, uh, Thing. So, I don't know. It was. I'm happy that it was over. I just have to throw out a lot of stuff now. So, thank you for watching. Uh, glad I found some silver. Uh, hopefully, we have some luck this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to get real cold uh, tonight into tomorrow. So, we'll see who's at the market. Thank you. Peace.